Hey everyone, in this video we'll be looking at how to do recurring jobs in Rails. Rails has things like active job, rescue, and a whole bunch of other utilities for defining tasks that have to be run in the background on a regular basis. And one of the, the easiest, I should say, most high-level solutions is through a gem called SideTick, and it's, it's very easy to define a task and very easy to say how often the task should happen. And so that's what I use most often uh, for things like recurring billing or sending a newsletter or what have you. So that's what I'm going to be demonstrating for you today. It's something that is very easy the second time. I had a hard time figuring out the intricacies of it the first time and so I would love to save you that that trouble. So what I have here is just a skeleton Rails app. I just generated a new app called Yay and then generated a scaffold for emails. And it just has one field, a uh, text field. And it doesn't matter what that is. All of this happens, uh, sorry, I should say all of the job defining happens on the model. So really you could you could put this on any model that you have. The first thing to do once you have your your model, uh, you actually have to go to the gem file first and add side tick and bundle. Now from there, in your in the model that you want the recurring job on, you need two blocks of code. And the first one is, is uh, the recurrence. And this is basically how often you want the job to happen. Uh, for the sake of the example, I just said every minute. But you can do daily, you can do monthly. And actually, the, the wiki has more, or it, it tells you how to do more intricate rules. So that's all there available for you. But for the sake of, of the example, I just said every minute. And then of course there's daily, monthly, things like that. So the first thing that you need is the schedule. And the second thing you need is what actually is going to happen. And in this case, since I don't actually want to do anything crazy other than demonstrate what it can do, it's just going to print yay a hundred times onto the console every minute. And then, of course, you need to include side tick and side kick, which is one of the gems that side tick is dependent on. That's pretty much all the configuration that you have to do. And so we're ready to see the actual the actual tasks running. So if you grab, uh, if you uh, hop into the the terminal, there's a couple things that need to be going to get it to run. It's not just uh, having a Rails server. Sidekick itself has to be started and you also have to start a Redis server. So if you don't have Redis, get that through Homebrew with brew install Redis and then you should be ready to go. So I have all that so I'm going to start a Rails server and I'll start Redis with this because I can never remember how to do it. And then finally, bundle exec sidekick. All right, so there's nothing there yet. And so what we have to do is instantiate the, oh, I should say, instantiate an instance of that model. And if you come over to, or sorry, if you go back to where Sidekick is running in the terminal, you'll see that we got the yay printed out 100 times. And I will not make you sit through an entire 60 seconds of, of staring at the terminal doing nothing. In real life, obviously, your perform method will have something 
more significant than just printing something out in the terminal. Presumably it would be sending an email or sending a recurring bill or what have you. And that's pretty much the whole thing. It's, it's very easy to configure, very easy to set up. It just has some intricacies that isn't sufficiently covered in the documentation. And so I hope that this video has been helpful for that. I'll see you guys in the next one.